getting elected president was the worst thing that ever happened to your dad, De Niro reprises Mueller role to appear like the bougieman at Eric Trump's bedside and deliver warning about his Russia probe. Robert De Niro returned to Saturday Night Live as a bougieman like special counsel Robert Mueller who warns a simpleton Eric Trump that the Russia investigation is picking up steam. SNL's cold open began with Donald Trump Jr., played by Mikey Day, wondering why his younger brother is still awake. When Eric, portrayed by Alex Moffat, who is seen holding a little shark doll, replies that he thinks there's a bougieman in his closet, Don Jr. ties to reassure him. Have you been watching the news again? Don Jr. asks the man-child Eric. You can't do that. It's too grown up. Eric then tells Don Jr., it says they are going to indict you. I'm impressed that you know what indict means, Don Jr. tells Eric. Eric then replies, indict. There's no sugar in Diet Coke. Almost, but you'll get it, Don Jr. says. Don Jr. then proceeds to read Eric a bedtime story twas the night before Christmas. If there's a word you don't understand, just stop me, Don Jr. says. When Don Jr. begins reading twas, Eric stops him. Twas is it, and was put together, buddy, Don Jr. says. Don Jr. then reads, Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. At this point, the Trump brothers hear the sound of a door creaking open. When Eric says he's worried about something in my closet, Don Jr. tries to reassure him. That's just the cheap steel dad uses to build his buildings, he said. When Don Jr. goes over to the closet to make sure no one is in there, he opens the door and Mueller appears. Robert Mueller's in there. Eric says. An oblivious Trump Jr. tells Eric, nobody likes a fibber. Eric then leaves the room after taking a phone call from his lawyer, whom he asks, can I flip on him? Mueller then mysteriously appears at Eric's bedside. Hi Eric, don't be scared, it's just me, your dad's friend from work, Mueller says. I'm not allowed to talk to you, Eric tells Mueller. That's fine Eric, it was pretty clear early on that you didn't know anything. Eric replies, nope. I wish I could say the same for some of your dad's friends, Mueller says. Like Mr. Pillowfort? Eric asks. Manafort, Mueller says. Mr. Papa John's Pizza? Papadopoulos, Mueller replies. And Mr. Cohen? Eric asks. Mueller replies, you might want to start calling him federal inmate 10358. Forget it, Eric. Mueller says as Trump's son starts giggling. Nope, Eric Trump says. I'm glad we're laughing. But this is serious, Mueller says. That depends on how much you want to visit your family. To which Eric replies, oh no, that's not good. Mueller says, but, hey, no one knows the full story yet. No one knows what I've put out yet. It's all been heavily redacted. You know what redacted is? Mueller asks Eric. Like when my dad called Jeff Sessions mentally redacted, Eric replied. In real life, President Donald Trump is reported to have called former Attorney General Jeff Sessions mentally retarded. Mueller then tells Eric, yeah, yeah, that was fun. But, Eric, I just came here to let you know that, no matter what happens, America is going to be just fine. It's a country full of good people, Mueller says. Yeah, good people, like my dad. Eric says. Let's put a pin in that, Mueller says. Eric then tells Mueller, Mr. Mueller, People say you're the worst thing to ever happen to my dad. To which Mueller replies, no, Eric, getting elected president is the worst thing that ever happened to your dad.